Hello, welcome to the video for what is line of sight 2. Okay, let me run this little example here. As you'll see on the bottom left and the bottom right, it tells me if it's false or true for the box and the pickup. Basically, we're using line of sight 2 to tell if we have line of sight to our box, which is around the corner, and our pickup, which is this little floating thing in front of us. So if I go around the corner, you'll now see it's true for both. If I go over here, the pickup is now false. So we'll cover this node. The node's pretty simple. It's right here. It uses the player controller or an AI controller. Pretty much any controller as its target, as the source. And then it uses another actor as the actual other, which is basically the target itself, for what you're trying to see if you have line of sight to. Keep in mind this is not a camera frustra frustrum. It's not what the camera can see or the player can see. This is just plain line of sight from the target to the target, or basically the source of the player controller to its target on what it can actually see if it's obstructed by a visibility blocking object, such as a wall or a building or something like that. For the options, again, we have the target, which is going to be the player controller or an AI controller. We have other, which is going to be what you actually want to see if you have line of sight to. We have the viewpoint. For the most part, this is going to be the widget's eye position or zero, zero, zero. But you can adjust this if needed. Maybe if you want to see if it's a little bit above or below, if you just want to adjust it based on your model. And then we have alternate checks. This is only used if you have an AI controller for the target itself. For the most part, you can ignore this. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. All I'm doing is putting in my two inputs, my controller and what I want to look at, and then it outputs a Boolean, and all I was doing was changing that into a text and putting on my screen. And that's it. It's a nice and simple way maybe you want, maybe you want to turn off uh, AI if it simply has no line of sight at all, or maybe you want Let's say you have an animation running, and it's pretty heavy. Maybe it's something that's pretty particle specific or something like that. I mean, there's other ways of doing this, such as if it's out of the frustrum or it's out of the occlu occlusion calling. But you could basically turn on and turn off entire sections by simply doing a line of sight check every so often to see if your player could even see this item. So that's a good use for it. It's pretty simple. You'll find if you want to use it, you'll know when you want to use it, and that's it. If there's any questions or anything else, please let me know and leave a comment below.